Okay, so we're out here with the with the Redshift 2. We're still set up with the electric power setup. So this is an Emax uh, RS 1306 4000 kV. It's running a uh, this is a Jim Fan Bullnose prop. It's a 3.5 by 5, so uh, fairly high pitch. Uh, we're just running the same setup before. I don't have any uh, flapper on mixing or, or anything of that nature. And we've got it plugged in with a 3S200 uh, LiPo, so a very small LiPo, not a particularly hot one. Um, and this is a 6 amp E Flight uh, speed controller. It's just a nice, convenient one that I had. Um, so this is the, the limit of how much power you would want to run through that particular speed controller. And unfortunately, I don't have calculations for where the motor stands um, with this power setup. I don't know if you can do 4S like this, so just, just so you know. Uh, with the uh, 3100 kV version of this motor, it'll be fine, and you'll, you'll get some particularly good speed. But anyway, let's, uh, let's just do a demo of this so you can see how it, uh, how it goes, if I can get the gnats off of me. Alright, so that take off right there, that's on one-third throttle. running out around at just over idle right now. So it's holding altitude like that. So let's uh, bring it around here. Let the nose drop some here. And that is what full throttle looks like. We'll come from the other direction. As you can see, that uh, scoots right along. No voltage sag, even with that tiny battery. We're just gliding right here. You see, it builds up pretty good speed even that way. We got lots of altitude. I mean, it'll glide around real nicely. And this is not even a uh, a folding prop. So, even in the glide, do real nice uh, rolls. That pass right there, that was only on one half throttle, so this is full throttle here. As you can tell, I mean, it's very, very twitchy, but um, it, it, it holds on real nice. Does it, it, It'll just keep going straight up as long as you'll let it. Um, I've got some misalignment with some of the control surfaces, so that's why you see some of the wiggling around and whatnot that it does. Yeah, we'll come blazing in here once more. I love the sound that makes. Yeah, as you can tell, it's uh, it's very tossable. It um, you know, it runs around real nice, and you've got very nice energy retention for a, a model this size, 
with a rocket pod on board and all that. And of course, if you mush it in, you can get the nice high sink rate, so I can just drop it right there with the throttle cut on. So anyway, that's just a demo for some of what you can do with this airplane. Um, actually, let me uh, do one other thing here. Yeah, so the uh, motor feels like it's maybe, maybe 80 degrees, maybe 90, I don't know. It's, it's nice, it's not, it's not hot at all. The, um, I mean, we're, I was, I was running it fairly aggressively. Definitely wasn't running it light. Uh, battery is warm, but not hot. Um, speed controller is, yeah, speed controller is a little bit on the hot side. We don't have any cooling for the speed controller, so, uh, the fact that it's not dangerously hot is, um, really a testament to the fact that this is a, um, a very robust setup. It, it just does not require a whole lot of power to get the, the performance out of it. So anyway, um, let me know what you think down in the comments section, and uh, we'll have uh, further videos uh, regarding the um, um, how to fly this rocket powered and, and so on. Maybe we'll talk some, about some other power setups for it. Uh, just just so you can um, take a look at some different ideas. So, see y'all.